Uh, very disappointing week, uh, to say the least. Uh, we dropped four conference games to LBW, and uh, as usual, we had everything that we had hoped for and everything that we were depending on. The uh, hitting was phenomenal. Uh, the pitchers did everything we could ask for. They're getting us the routine ground balls, routine pop-ups. Uh, out of the four conference games, we went into the sixth inning up seven nothing, and ended up dropping it nine to eight. And again, it's just routine physical and even worse, uh, routine mental mistakes on our defense. Uh, again, yesterday we had two very long games. Uh, we had eight home runs total in the doubleheader and still dropped the first game 15 to 12. So uh, hitting wise, this team is just on fire. They are amazing. Uh, the two sitting here right to my right are probably having uh, career seasons at the plate. Uh, they've been booming the ball out all week long. And I said that obviously then Bree and Madison here are doing 90% of our pitching. And uh, I really feel and empathize for them because they're getting us the routine pop-ups. They're getting us the ground balls. And so right now we've got pitching and we've got hitting. And uh, we just got to get past this Achilles heel of minor and routine errors that just keep adding up. We are by far we've given up more unearned runs already this year than I think we ever have. Bree and Maddie have been our go-to all year long. Uh, we play double headers every time we go out and to try not to overthrow somebody. Uh, I know the old saying goes that throwing underhanded you can throw all the time and it doesn't affect you but I don't necessarily agree with that so mm -hmm. trying to take care of their arms and take care of them. Uh, one of them will be starting one game and one of them will start the other. Uh, sometimes we will flip-flop who throws first or who throws second. And uh, it's just kind of scouting the other team and uh, seeing which one seems to match up best for them. And, uh, you know, at the same time, we've got a couple of different lineups. We've obviously got a very strong lineup hitting. And then at the same time, we have to try to filter in defense because uh, we don't have, for example, uh, all of our top nine hitters may not necessarily be all of our top nine best defensive players, so we're having to try to work out the combination of the right people in at the right time. Yes, and, and, and probably a great example, I know a lot of people like to have a, a fast runner and a, a contact hitter in the leadoff spot. In our leadoff spot, we've got our biggest bats. Uh, Mackenzie Childs right now is uh, leading the state in hitting, and I think she hit, uh, over the past week, she's hit four home runs. And Bree's hitting right behind her in the number two spot. And so our lineup is stacked with our biggest bats up front. And just a simple concept, uh, I'm gonna get my biggest bats to the plate as many times as possible. And so we do, we have our, our power hitters starting at the very front and it just runs right on down through number five, through number six before we usually start getting to the speed. Absolutely right now, our key to success is to try to reduce the stress, especially amongst our players on defense. They need to relax, have a good time, and just start making the routine plays. Uh, hitting wise right now, I think we've got five kids in the top 10 in the state. I mean, we've got not just one or two, but we've got a whole group that is just uh, killing the ball. Uh, and again, like I said, these two here, I could not have asked for better pitching out of them this year. Uh, they're consistently uh, working it in and out. They're getting us the pop-ups. They're getting us the ground balls. They're keeping the ball in the ballpark. And that's all we could ask out of the hitting and the pitching. And I'm hoping we'll do everything we can to find a way to try to start relaxing a little more. We've got uh, Marriott Military coming in tomorrow. Uh, Marion right now is sitting number one in our conference, so I think it should be a good competitive game. Uh, 
obviously right now we can match up with anybody hitting and uh, you know the real key is for us to get the the routine outs early and to try to keep it a close ball game and start trying to win some ball games with our glove. Uh, Bree Murray and Madison McGowan will be, one of them will be starting one game one starting the other and obviously I'll take a few minutes today and sit down with them and just see what's most comfortable for them as to who goes first game, who goes second. And it'll be a two o'clock Eastern start and obviously we're playing in Russell County right now while our field's under construction. I guess I prepare just like calming myself before every game and just knowing that like we're capable of like winning if we just stay with like the process and just trust in like what we do every day in practice, of course, and just like if that's just taking extra reps before the game or go down to the sidelines and pray before I start and just knowing that we just play for each other and know that we only get one time at this game, so we just do the best that we can with it. Well, what I do to prepare for a number one team like that, I just have to lock in and trust myself and trust my teammates. And not only that, but I have to pray and make sure like we come out. I don't pray that we come out on top. I pray that he keeps us from injuries and just help us like shine a light for him. And yeah, I just have to trust myself and trust my teammates and whatever happens, it happens. Same with me, if I'm struggling on something or I don't have confidence in something, I'll go to the field, work on it do a round of hitting by myself or with my teammates. And so that when I come to the games, I like have full confidence in myself and I'm relaxed and I'm just there with my teammates. And I like to pray with the team, but also take time and pray by myself to really just let everything and put everything in God's hands. Um, I'd say like what we experienced with LBW, we jumped out um, maybe like each game we'll jump out maybe like three or four runs ahead and like we'll hold them for a couple innings and then like we just have that one inning where we may like make an error or two and it just goes down from there. I feel like if we just stay up the whole game and just keep adding each inning just like win each inning that we will come on top. Um, personally I think that to jump off what Bree said, I think that, you know, we have to stay ahead instead of just laying down and like giving up so many runs. And I also think that every time, you know, if someone makes a mistake, I think we should just brush it off and just move on to the next play instead of just dwelling and dwelling on the mistake that that person had made. Which I agree. Pretty? I agree with what Madison said. Um, I think it's a confidence thing. I think that we're, we're like, we come out, we're mentally in it, we're talking. We're hype, we're happy, we're doing good, but I feel like as soon as like they get ahead or like not even something bad happens, just something doesn't go the way that we like planned it out in our head or it's not three up, three down, we start slowly losing confidence, start slowly losing our hype, but really we just need to stay in it, stay mentally strong and just keep pushing through, keep putting scores on the board and trying to shut down the team as best as we can. I would say Kenzie, Kenzie most Kenzie, definitely. Kenzie was on fire hitting. I mean, she was booming. Like, literally, it looks like she taps the ball, but I swear, she could yeah. tap it and it's going over. Yeah. Yeah. It could even be like a full swing, and I was like, it's going well, over or hitting the fence. Yeah, literally, yeah. It's, it's a yeah. big hit. Kenzie was on fire hit. Shout out to Kenzie. <laughs> definitely Kenzie. And I appreciate them recognizing her, but at the same time, uh, Katie had one game with two home runs last week against LBW. Can't forget Katie. Uh, Bree is booming it out against them. So, yes, our top four batters are just crushing the ball. Um, Mackenzie Smith hitting in the number four spot. Uh, she's our catcher, but it's almost like it's a, almost an automatic double when she comes to the plate. Mm -hmm. And she's hitting shots in the gap to the fence. So yes, the power hitting up one through five is just tearing the cover off the ball. As a pitcher, I'd be so excited. Cause I'd be like, girl, I was like, I'm like hyped up. Like, like when I see them like hitting balls out, I'm like, okay, if we keep it up, I'll just have to just pitch the contact in which I already do. Like I don't have to worry about striking people out or anything. And I was just like, if if I know for a fact I can come back in, get three up, three down, and I know that they're gonna keep hitting like that, I'd be excited. I'd be up here.
<laughs> man. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yesterday was pretty good. I mean, I didn't think about it until I crossed on the plate. And Kenzie, like, because it was, like, first start of the game, like, maybe, like, third or fourth pitch. Kenzie is a bomb. And then I come up, and I had, like, a 10-pitch at bat. <laughs> I just, like, sit on a straight left field, and I touch on and like, that was a back-to-back home -back run. Like, then Katie comes up and hits a shot, like, I thought it, we thought it was going over. Yeah, it I thought it was going fence, over too. It hit dead on the like, fence. We thought it was going over. It just feels good just to know like you have like a strong lineup. Just, you don't have to like worry about anything. So yeah, yeah that's fun. Cool. I would definitely say like when the top of the lineup hits, it gives everybody else that peace of mind knowing that the pitcher like isn't all that and like like seeing her, but then actually being up there at the plate, it gives you more confidence so that the first person hit and you're not having to go up there and start like the hitting spree. And so um, it definitely helps me, especially seeing Kenzie hit the first home run, like first at bat, because then I know like she's she's pitching flat or she's pitching not, you know, with a lot of speed or anything. So it definitely helps me when I come on. Oh, absolutely moving forward. I want to try to keep these three here healthy along with the rest of the kids on the team. You know, we unfortunately suffered a major injury yesterday. Uh, uh, one of our girls injured her arm and will probably require surgery. So obviously we'll pray to the good Lord that uh, we keep injuries to a minimum. And it's the same with me. I always pray every day that the Lord just keeps them safe and just lets them do the best they can. Uh, never would I ask the Lord to help control the scoreboard. So uh, we keep these kids Obviously, I want to see them have the biggest year they can have. Uh, right now, they are definitely on fire toward having uh, maybe a career season, some of it individually. But when you can't control the scoreboard, then all you can really control is what you do yourself and individually and just do the best you can. And the three that are with me today are just having phenomenal seasons.